Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. Well, as you can see, I guess it's pretty obvious here, we're testing another Blue Eddy power station. And I can hear you out there right now, thousands of miles away. Oh, Bob, another Blue Eddy. Yes, another Blue Eddy. They keep sending them to me. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Uh, actually, I did ask them to send me this one. This is their latest and greatest. Blue Eddy is doing such a fantastic job of finding needs and building products to fill it. Now, this is going to have a limited use for my audience. I mean, if you're in a car, uh, a van, uh, this probably is too big. Yeah, almost certainly is too big. However, uh, you'd be surprised how many people this would work for. If you're in any kind, if you're in a school bus or any good, reasonably good sized RV, this could really be an answer to your solutions. Uh, it's just a, it's a uh, it's the AC 500, and the 500 means that it has a 5,000 watt inverter. Uh, and it's got a lot of really good features. So let's get it undone, and I'll tell you why this may be more of more interest to you than you think it might be. So let's, uh, let me get it unboxed. I'll do this real quick. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, out of the box. It's not as huge as it first appears. It's very heavy. It must, I think it's around 60 or 70 pounds. I'll give you an exact number. But it's got a lot of a really, really advanced features. A 5,000 watt inverter, which is important because with most 2,000 watt inverters, you can have one hydro item on at a time. And if you put two on, you'll blow a fuse, you just start over. So if you have your uh, microwave on and you, you per turn on uh, a high powered coffee maker, almost anything, then you're gonna blow a fuse. This will run them both. So folks, as you saw, I was doing an unboxing of the Blue Eddy AC500 and the B300 battery and the wind just came up and it got so horrible that we had to just run away and get everything put inside as soon as we could. So I put uh, it inside a friend of mine's rig and I wanted to show you in here that as huge as it is, this is a very small trailer, but it's still doable inside even a very small trailer. So you have, you know, the 5,000 watt inverter, you have the ability to take in uh, 3,000 watts of solar, and this one battery provides you with uh, 256 amp hours of battery of lithium LifePo4 battery, which is really a lot. And you could run it in here, even in this 17 foot long uh, vintage trailer, uh, you could you could fit those in here. I mean, you wouldn't want to. This is far from ideal. You've lost a bunch of your of your dinette set, but you still got the other side. And just to say that, yes, it's enormous, but uh, it could work in nearly any rig if you happen to have this huge uh, power need in a smaller rig. But if it fits just reasonably well inside a 17-foot vintage trailer then man, it would fit great in most class C's or class A's, or uh, there's just going to be plenty of room for one this big. Next, we will put it into where it's going to live while it's here with me. I only have it for a little while, remember. It is going to Homes on Wheels Alliance, Howa.org, Homes on Wheels Alliance.org, and it will be sweepstaked off. You can buy tickets to purchase, to, uh, to win this in a sweepstakes. No purchase is required. That's what makes it a sweepstakes. You don't even have to pay for the money for the tickets. You can, and we prefer you did. It's a, it's a fundraiser for Howa. Uh, but if you don't, you don't even have to buy tickets to get to win this. So it will be the AC500, two batteries, a total of 500 amp hours of LifePo4 batteries, and 750 watts of solar. So that's worth uh, spending a few bucks on... Uh, on a, on a sweepstakes ticket. Okay, so next we'll move it into uh, my tent. It's gonna live in my tent for a little while. Let's do that. So I'm about ready to give you my final conclusions on the AC500 and the B300S. And my conclusions are just overwhelmingly positive. It's just a fantastic piece of equipment. But it's not for everyone. It's a, uh, it's a high-end, very expensive piece of equipment with really unlimited expandability. And uh, they make, a Blue Eddy 
makes lower end units that would serve most of us better. So this isn't for for many of us, actually, to be honest. It's not really for many of us. It's, it's unlimited expandability it makes it just fantastic, but only for a very few people. So who's this for? That's the big question. Who would this serve the best? If you are in an RV and you don't have any solar yet, and you're thinking, I want to put solar in almost any size RV, then this really is a fantastic solution because it eliminates the cost of the installation. That is really the big thing. You buy these units, you add as many batteries as you need to run your rig, you add as much solar as you need to run your rig, and you're done. Now, the only is, if you're going to mount it on the roof, most of you, if you cannot do that yourself, and it's pretty hard, you'll need to pay for that installation. But a lot of the ex expense of the installation will be these units themselves, the, the just it, the, all the wiring and the connections, and it's it's a really complicated thing. And if you're willing to go with panels that you put out, then there is zero installation cost. You buy these units. You mount them somewhere inside where they cannot move around. You plug everything in and you are done. So that is going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars. And the unit is not overpriced. It's just very high end and expensive stuff. So this light, the three LifePo 4 batteries in here, uh, if you go buy high quality LifePo batteries, are they're going to be three grand. And so that means the rest of the unit is really quite inexpensive. Uh, when when you look at that as a whole as a whole unit and all the money you're going to save on installation, so um, but it's, it's it's expandability that makes it so amazing. So uh, another group of people. So anyone in an RV, this could be a very good unit. Now, if you're thinking about being in a cabin part of the year and RVing or or being a nomad traveling part of the year. This too is fantastic because this can handle a whole cabin. This is literally a whole house solution. This thing will handle up to 18,000 uh, watt hours of battery. It will handle 3,000 watts of solar. So let me give you an idea of how expandable this is. This one battery has 256 amp hours. That's, a, that's quite a bit. But you can hook up six of them, and that takes you up to 1,500 amp hours of batteries. So you can literally buy two of these and buy a box that joins them together, and then you can have 240 volt. You can run a, 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 you know anything that runs on 240 volt. You can run that and all your 12 and your 12 volt and your 110 volt stuff. So that's pretty amazing. But then that allows you connect 6,000 watts of solar and up to 3,000 amp hours of batteries between these two units. So you, you can't outgrow it. That's the amazing thing. You just throw money at it. If <laughs> you just throw buckets of money at it, it will grow to handle any house, literally. Well, it's not going to handle a mansion, but any reasonable house that you and I might want. Or if we're going to build a cabin in the woods, this thing will handle a cabin in the woods without the slightest problem. And then at the end of the season, and you are ready to get back into your RV and go back to Florida or go back to, uh, go back to the desert, you just throw this thing in there and away you go. So that is where the beauty of this thing comes in. No installation. It moves easily from a land cabin to your nomadic life. Uh, so it, it does offer some really extreme advantages. So with all of those huge advantages, uh, who, is, who competes with this? What else would I consider besides the AC500? Uh, well, I would really give serious, serious thought to the AC200 Max because that's all I would personally ever need. It comes with 2,000 watt hours of battery built in and it comes with a 2000 watt inverter, and that's really all I need. Uh, so that wouldn't satisfy the vast majority of you. To my mind, you are either going to buy the uh, AC200 Max or you're going to buy this if you just have to have the ultimate expandability. And if and one of the big things is are right here. Two, this has two different types of 30 amps services. There, thir I didn't even know this myself, but 30 amps comes with two different kinds of connection. So whichever one you need, this has this has it. Uh, but it also then has the 50 amp. So if you're in a 50 amp coach, 
this is going to provide it. And you can provide enough solar and enough um, battery to handle a 40-foot uh, diesel pusher with the 50 amp service. This will do it. I don't know of any other unit on the market that will do it. And I can utterly convince there's no other ones that will do it as well. So for most of us, I think the ATC 200 uh, Mac, Max with an extra battery or two is more than most of us will ever need. It will meet all of our needs up to a 30 amp service. And those for those of you who just really want the most, this is the answer. So that's who it's for. The t you want top quality, you want that easy portability, you don't want to do the installation. Um, you want to go be able to perhaps go from a house to an RV, or, or even, it doesn't even have to be an RV. So for example, if you have a bread truck, you have a, a 16 foot, 18 foot uh, step van. Well, this is perfect in there. You got plenty of room for solar on the roof to carry it and lay it outside. Uh, I just think the world of Blue Eddy, they do everything really, really well. Their customer service is fantastic. You call them, you're going to have, have a problem. They're going to write, they're going to talk to you. They're going to email you back. You're going to have a conversation. It's just in every way, I think Blue Eddy is the way to go. So what am I saying? I'm saying this is a fantastic piece of equipment. It probably isn't for most of my audience, uh, but one of the Blue Eddy line is. So um, you have to decide which one is the best for you. Buy enough, but not too much. I mean, you don't want to buy this great big thing and then just never get out of your van. That just seems like it'll be a silly idea. Even the AC200 might be too much for you in just a van. Although I think you would be very glad that you did. And at some time, if you hear about who's, who else this is for, if you ever think you might want to buy a piece of land, put a little cabin on it, put a little shed on it, put a tent in it. I'm in a tent right now. This thing works really, really well on a tent. You get a big, uh, one of these big 16, 20 foot uh, bell tents. This thing works super, super well. I would be delighted to have this. And then when I'm done with being in the bell tent, I put this back into my van, my RV or my step van or whatever I'm in. I would be very, very happy man with that. So that's another uh, person this might be for is for someone in a tent. Okay, so I'm very pleased with this. I think it's a fantastic unit. It's just a matter of if it's too much for you. Don't buy more than you need, but uh, try to buy enough. Yeah, only you can figure that out. Okay, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that <music>